Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a short one. It's just a quick uh, tutorial on how to do masking of images in Lightburn. And what is masking? Masking is very similar to doing cropping, except it gives you a lot more control over the image itself. So let's get right into it. So we're over here in Lightburn. Uh, let's just go grab an image. So I'm just gonna click on File, Open. I'm gonna go down and I'm just gonna pick a random image here. And let's take a look at, let's do extra large icons. Let's pick an image. So let's just grab this black horse, for example. Click on open. And let me turn this on so that we can see it. So you can see that this image has kind of a wacky dimension to it, right? It is 7.8 inches by 15.6 inches. I want to engrave this as a square image. I can either do it, you know, I want to do it as a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 or, you know, maybe a 14 by 14 or something like that. So how do we get an image like this to turn out to be the size that I actually want? Uh, so we're going to use masking. And masking, as I said before, was very similar to cropping, except it gives you a little bit more control. So the first thing that you want to do when you bring in an image is with your original image, you just right click on it and you click on duplicate. Now you'll have two images and you want to set that image to be on its own layer. So let's click this first image and we'll put it on layer zero. Our second image is on layer one and let's just turn it off. So now we just have our single image that we're going to do some masking on. So first thing that I want to do is I want to turn that off. I'm going to go over here to my square tool and I'm going to draw a simple square. And I want that square to be, let's just make it, let's do a 12 by 12, for example. So I hit my unlock. I turn it to 12 by 12 and I lock it. And I'm going to change it from fill to line because I just want a line. <clears throat> Back over here to my arrow tool and I'm just going to move it in. So I'm going to go back to my image, my first image, and I'm going to show it. And you can see, you know, if I go to engrave this, it's, it, it's not going to engrave as a 12 by 12. So I need to adjust this. So how do you adjust it? You go from right to left to select everything, or you can do control A. Then you right click and you say, apply mask to image. And what that does is it now has moved my image so that it is behind that square outline that I just created. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drag my image out. And I'm going to move it around on the screen here. And you can see now I have a little bit more control over that image itself. So I can zoom it in a little bit more. and get something close to what I actually want to see. So say I wanted to actually engrave this part. See how I have a lot more control over moving this image around? Other, other options you can do is you can go from right to left again to select everything and use the tools up here at the top to align to the center. And then if you want, you can use your arrow keys, you can manipulate it around. And that's masking. So it's similar to cropping, but it gives you a little bit more control. So now that I have my image roughly set the way that I want it to be, I'm going to select everything again. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say flatten image to mask. And now you can see there's my new image. It's now set to 12 by 12 or almost 12 by 12. So I can just go in here and I can change this to 12. And I'm ready to engrave. 